before an audience of anti-Castro Cuban exiles in Miami's Little Havana, Donald Trump didn't hold back. Now that I am your president, America will expose the crimes of the Castro regime. Undoing Barack Obama's Cuba policy that opened the communist-run island to more U.S. visitors and investment was a Trump campaign promise. Soon, most Americans won't be able to book their own trip to Cuba, but will have to join a guided tour to make sure their dollars don't go to the Cuban military, which controls large parts of the economy, including hotels. Increased restrictions that worry Americans already visiting Cuba. Coming to Cuba is not only wonderful for Americans to find out the other side, um, but it's a very interesting place with wonderful people. And I just think that it's a horrible idea. I love it here. The people are amazing. Uh, the culture is rich. Every day has been a beautiful experience. And I think something like that would dampen our relationship. U.S.-Cuban relations will likely be hurt, but it won't be a full rollback. The American flag will continue to fly over the newly reopened U.S. Embassy in Havana. U.S. cruise ships and airlines will continue the service to the island that restarted in 2016. But in an exclusive interview with CNN, Cuban officials that coordinate anti-drug smuggling efforts with the U.S. are afraid the increased cooperation will suffer under President Trump. The biggest impact will be felt in the U.S., he says, because Cuba is not a country that the drugs are coming to. Fundamentally, the drugs go north. If there is a step backward in the cooperation, the impact will be felt in the U.S. The Trump policy is designed to target the Cuban government for human rights abuses, not the Cuban people. But they could be caught in the crossfire. The Trump administration says that too much of the money generated by the Cuba opening has gone directly to the pockets of the Cuban government. But a lot of that money has also gone to the Cuban people. Airbnb says in the last two years it has sent over $40 million to Cubans who rent out their homes, money that is helping fix up scenic streets like this one in Old Havana. Private entrepreneurs like this company that rents classic cars to tourists were banking on more Americans coming to the island. Already in this garage, we have 14 employees, she says. Before, we rent it all out of my house. So we've grown a lot, and it's all been thanks to the increase in tourism. Much of the emerging private sector in Cuba is banking on the hope for better relations with her neighbor, the United States. A future that is increasingly in doubt. Patrick Ottman, CNN Havana.